Hey everybody. So today I'm going to be doing a bit of a review here and uh, I wanted to bring bring out this knife here. This is the Spyderco Meerkat and the Meerkat does not get a lot of attention here on YouTube. There's very few videos about it. So I'm just going to throw mine out there and uh, see where it lands. So there you go. It has black FRN handles both sides has the wire uh, pocket clip there that is reversible right or left carry tip down only though the Meerkat it's, it's a little knife it's got a 1 and 15 16 inch blade and a 3 and a quarter inch handle so that's what you're looking at <clears throat> For a small knife though, it does have some heft to it because of the steel liners. Weighs in at 2.3 ounces, which may not sound like a lot, but for a little knife, trust me, you're going to feel it. Uh, the blade is a modified leaf point, I believe. Uh, hollow ground. And uh, when this knife first came out, it was made for two years in Golden, Colorado, with, using 440C stainless. And that's the one I got. The next two years it was made, it went to Seki City, Japan, and the blade was O6. Then later they did a, a sprint run where the handles changed from black to bluish gray, and the blade still changed to a VG10. Uh, this knife is the only one in the Spyderco line and probably the only, I guess the only knife out there, period, that uses the Phantom Lock. And what that is, is this handle here pivots over just that much and then you close the blade. <clears throat> and it works real easy for one hand opening and closing. Real easy. Now, I thought with that Phantom Lock it wouldn't have a good lock up and I was kind of concerned about extensive use of this knife uh, but then I realized when you put your hand around it that handle is not going to be able to pivot at all so it is a good solid lockup of a knife however there is no jimping on the thumb ramp or the finger choil here so when using it use it for small tasks and uh, just be careful make sure you got a good grip on it uh, the mirror cat, or at least mine anyway, it is the blade centering is slightly to the right, but there is no blade play up, down, side to side, typical Spyderco fashion. Uh, there is no way of adjusting the blade tension. As you can see, there's no way of doing that here. Ah, oh, shit. Let's see here. Um, the original price of these were about $54, $55. And nowadays they go for $100 plus. So they got quite a premium on them. And this knife did come super sharp. Factory edge. Let's get a piece of paper here. Typical Spyderco, very sharp as always. Uh, let me give you a size comparison here. We got the Ladybug and the Delica. And as you can see, it makes a pretty good medium ground knife there. If you want something bigger than a Ladybug with something smaller than a Delica, Meerkat works out real good. But uh, to me, the knife is just too collectible to make it a daily use knife anyway. And I guess that's it, guys. I can't think of anything else to touch on. So that's my review of the Meerkat. Hope you enjoyed. I'm out of here. Later.